What is going on everybody? I just wanted to make a quick little video and uh, obviously I am not a doctor or anything like that. But I just wanted to talk about my experience with runner's knee, how I got runner's knee, what happened, my experience with it, some of the symptoms, injuries, things I had to had to deal with and then the things that I had to overcome and do to prevent runner's knee and keep myself strong and healthy and limber and I want to talk about all that stuff in about less than 10 minutes so hopefully I can do that So runner's knee is an injury that a lot of runners experience or maybe not experience, but they know someone that has experience. Me, myself, I personally experienced it twice. The first time I've ever experienced it was when I really started running my freshman year in college. And then recently I know my friend who's got runner's knee from uh, just, you know, getting inspired by David Goggins and letting loose. And next thing you know, he's got runner's knee. So I understand, but that's really what happens when you put all those miles on a body that's not used to that. So runner's knee essentially is pain in your patella femoral joint and that is basically your kneecap joint. And uh, the muscles surrounding that joint are the quads and the hamstrings, but especially the quads. The quad is the muscle right above the kneecap, and that is the muscle that connects, you know, to the joint and then to the kneecap. And the quad is a muscle that tends to get really tight. I can speak from experience. My quads get really tight, especially after a workout, especially after a run. And uh, that can cause pulling on the joint and that causes the joint to kind of like spread out and basically push down onto the knee and can cause pain from there. So let's talk about some causes, like how can you get runner's knee? Why did you get runner's knee? I'm going to guess odds are that maybe you ran too fast for too long, maybe like a few, like a whole entire seven days of just speed workouts. Maybe you started picking up shin splints, runner's knee, that can happen. But from my experience and everybody that I know and all the stories that I've heard, it is basically someone that has ran too far of a distance in too short of a training span, if you know what I'm saying. Whether that's um, two, three day span of running 10 miles when you're not used to that, or maybe that's just one day running five or seven or 10 miles or maybe 12 miles, and your body's really not caught up to that mileage yet. And that happens and your knees will give out on you and essentially you can get runner's knee. From my own experience, when I first started running, I was running one to two miles basically every single day. And then at one point I just got inspired and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna run five miles. And then I ran five miles. And then a few days later, I ran seven miles. A few days later, I ran almost 10 miles. Um, two days later, I couldn't even bend my knee. So that's kind of what happens essentially. <laughs> Please keep in mind that I was not foam rolling. I was not stretching at that time. So those are big factors that cause and can prevent whatever way you wanna look at it, runner's knee and injury prevention. So all that being said, maybe you didn't run long distances and you got runner's knee another way. I don't know how that is. I hope you get better, but these are some ways that you can prevent it and that you can come back and come back better and to learn from it. So let's uh, talk about that. So right off the bat, after running, Runs, you know after workouts you should definitely foam roll foam rolling is big stretching some people you know you have people like Kelly Starrett who is a doctor and he has like you know his whole philosophy that you shouldn't stretch you should just be like mobility flexible and you know doing those movements which is like dynamic stretching which is you know I understand that but a lot of people do still static stretch so I guess I would recommend static stretching after a workout not before also something that is very big is uh, some form of foam rolling some form of like tissue muscle release whether that's you know deep tissue massage constantly you can go to a massage um, I think if you have runner's knee or you're experiencing pain in the knee definitely try to go to a massage I know COVID right now is kind of messing all that stuff up but massaging the muscles around the knee would really help and prevent any injuries and um, the tension and the tightness also a personal recommendation you could use heat therapy whether that's like you can use hot rocks you can get like a little bag of like hot rock cherry things that they have i'll put right there it's kind of cool or you can do like a heat pad or try to get into a sauna i know saunas right now with the corona saunas are closed you know your boy is personally affected about that but it's just what it is but yeah definitely try heat therapy a lot of people you you could try cold therapy but the idea with tight joints and tight muscles is you want kind of uh to loosen that up so you definitely want heat and then foam roll heat and then foam roll Personally, that is what I have done and that is what helped me. I do want to note right now that I, I have been suffering from runner's knee. I'm finally back into the gym working out. I have not ran in like three weeks because um, I, I was busy basically one week and I didn't get the mileage that I wanted in. And one day I told myself like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna get my mileage in for the week. And I went for a really long run 
and stupidly I went on that run on the sand at the beach and my body was not ready for that and uh, I experienced some runner's knee and uh, a lot of a lot of tightness really just some t tight quads I really got to work on that as well I gotta work on the stretching got to work on the uh, mobility and flexibility but that is something I got to work on so uh, I got to take that into consideration another very important thing to prevent runner's knee and to make sure that you you know stay injury prone is to hit the gym do some sort of exercise strength conditioning you know strength training if you are a runner and you're trying to run and you're trying to put miles on the legs i know i'm saying it like a singing person but definitely hit the gym strengthen your legs do squats if you've never done that try to do different forms of uh, mobility functionality workouts like split squats strengthen the hamstrings strengthen the quads strengthen the groins strengthen the uh little intricate muscles around the hip the hip flexors if they're tight try to loosen them up also strengthen them while you're loosening them up calves strengthen up the calves if you're running don't forget about the calves i been forgetting about the calves. I'm not forgetting about the calves anymore. But yeah, definitely do strength training on your legs. Do not forget leg day. Do not skip leg day. If you do not hit the gym, if you're a runner, if you're an avid runner, if you want to be an avid runner, and maybe you want to prevent runner's knee or you have it and you don't want to get it again, and you don't hit the gym, hit the gym for sure. I'm not saying you have to be a bodybuilder or a Schwarzenegger. We're not saying that at all. Definitely just do some sort of strength training. You want to be strong. It's good to be strong in your body is asking you to be strong and support itself. So that's what you need. You need to support your joints. If you're gonna put a lot of miles on your joints and your legs and your muscles, it's gotta be strong enough to handle all that. So uh, yeah, that's a very big tip very important everyone i really just wanted to make this video nice and short nice and simple some things that you can look for if you're if you're feeling runner's knee if you're feeling tightness in the knee definitely start foam rolling definitely start stretching you can definitely try some cbd rub you could definitely try um heat therapy like i said that definitely works you know heat therapy your body releases heat shock proteins and also i believe heat when you use heat therapy it releases like different type of growth hormones which is um always good if you're experiencing injuries uh, you know, shout out my boy Laird Hamilton. He's with the, you know what? And also the main tip that I can give you, if you have runner's knee, if you're experiencing runner's knee, take time off. Take some time off if you've been running a lot, if you've been putting on a lot of mileage, if you've been forcing yourself to run a lot of mileage after, you know, you have a lifestyle of not running miles, um, take some time off your body's not used to that I know your mind's like oh I gotta run I gotta run but the more you force yourself to run that your body can't handle the longer you won't be able to run and I can give you personal experience that's where I was you know I wanted to run my first marathon and then I got runner's knee and then I had to wait it took me like three months to get my knees back in order and uh, yeah and then I finally ran my first marathon and now I have a little bit different goal so I'm pretty excited about that if you guys don't know who I am I'm Luke Vaughn I make pretty cool videos if uh, I think they're pretty cool so far i'm trying to work on them please check them out link in the description i also have a podcast please check that out link will be in the description i uh, hope you all stay safe please keep your knees safe keep your body healthy stretch foam roll foam roll is something i definitely recommend heat therapy eat healthy stay clean that's what it is stay healthy guys don't get don't get runner's knee i i hope you guys don't have runner's knee prevent runner's knee at all costs it sucks it sucks Deuces.